Now to the challenge for the city health department. 12 dead, 120 people sick in the city, but no newly diagnosed cases of Legionnaire's disease in the past 10 days. And now city health officials say the outbreak in the Bronx has been contained. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports today. The city council took action to stop future clusters of the disease. Honestly, it should have really been done before an outbreak of something. Vivian Miller voicing a common sentiment in the Bronx. Almost 40 years after Legionnaires was identified, killing 34 people who attended a convention in Philadelphia, why is New York City only now requiring cleaning and inspection of cooling towers? I don't think anyone would have hesitated to put new rules and regulations into effect if health authorities had specifically recommended them. The mayor says this outbreak was an unprecedented crisis for the city, requiring a new approach. So next week, he'll sign the bill the city council approved Thursday, affecting hundreds of cooling towers on large buildings where Legionella bacteria can incubate and spread. All cooling towers must be registered with the city, with required regular testing for Legionella and cleaning, and building owners must have cooling towers inspected and certified annually. Violators face heavy fines. This has become uh, an emergency situation, and so we, the, the fine structure is one that is going to really sh ensure that there is compliance. City health officials are breathing a sigh of relief after 10 days of no newly diagnosed cases. We have contained the outbreak of Legionnaires in the South Bronx. Residents have lived with weeks of worry. I'm confident with a prayer. Everything works with a prayer. Praying the new regulations serve to prevent future outbreaks. In Mott Haven, the Bronx, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. The health commissioner says the number of Legionnaires cases will never go to zero and that there will always be sporadic cases because the bacteria are so prevalent in our environment.